Well, the first match is from Paris, France in 1988. Now this was an event that took place in October of 88, but it was actually broadcast in November as Primetime Wrestling. Now on this card, on this particular night, it was main evented by the WWE Champion Randy Savage, taking on Akeem. There's some of the matches as well, including uh, Andre the Giant, local hero I guess, uh, he took on the Junkyard Dog, and in a title match for the Women's Championship, Rockin' Robin became the new champion by defeating Sensational Sherry. There's other matches on the card as well, but uh, the match I'm going to talk about today is for the Tag Team Championships as Demolition, Axe and Smash, take on the team of Davy Boy Smith and the Dynamite Kid, the British Bulldogs. Now, to start with, I must admit the setup is quite strange here. There's kind of like a glass tunnel as the entranceway, um, which looks very, very odd. And there are ring girls uh, following behind with the kind of the name boards, like on placards. You know, like you get in boxing where they have like round one, round two, etc. Well, these are walking down the aisle behind the wrestlers with the names of the wrestlers on, which are quite an interesting touch and not something I've seen, I don't think I've seen before or since, actually. Um, but anyway... As we get to the match itself proper, it's Smash and Davy Boy that start things off. Bit of back and forth, pretty basic stuff at this stage. Behind the referee's back, Dynamite gets in and takes the place of Davy Boy. Got uh, like an armbar on the opponent, and the crowd are loving this because it's you know it's a bit of tomfoolery by the baby faces, but uh, Axe is not particularly happy because they're, you know they're breaking the rules. And then a few minutes later, referee's back is turned again, and they swap back, and Davy's back in the ring. Ref doesn't see it either time. Crowd kind of almost like vouchers for them in a way. They kind of say, yeah, there was a tag. And, you know, it's a it's a funny little spot to start over. But once Axe gets in, he's not happy about this and he takes over. Um, but very soon, Bulldogs are back in control and they're working over an arm. This pattern of not tagging continues. Now, it started off quite humorous because they're doing it behind the referee's back. But throughout the match, they just don't use the rules. And the referee doesn't enforce them. And it, it really takes away from the match, actually, that they're just kind of stepping in and out as they choose. And that's both teams, not just the Bulldogs at this stage. Uh, we see Davy Boy hitting a second rope forearm to smash, which looks pretty impressive. Uh, Demolition take over then, and they start to work Davy's left arm. They've got arm bars and nerve holds on the go. A lot of in and out, a lot of but a lot of basic offense. Nothing really too high-flying or athletic at this stage. They're just kind of, you know, working over a body part treating it like a, an athletic contest but it is starting to drag a little bit and another thing that i found really distracting actually was the commentary now as i mentioned this was taped in october of 88 but it was aired in november of 88 and i think they've commentated closer or even maybe even live at the time of air date because there's a lot of talk about the u.s election going on which really takes away from what's happening in the match and bobby heenan seems very distracted as well um, and not really calling the action. And at one point he even says that he predicts that the team wearing knee pads will win. Even though both teams are wearing knee pads. So he's trying to just be funny and not really call the action. Um, then on the version that I watched on the WWE Network, the uh, the action stops and they go for what I assumed would have been a commercial break at the time. And as it comes back from the break, uh, we're just in time to see a hot tag to Dynamite. In he comes with a house on fire. You know, he's hitting... I think it's a couple of body slams and a couple of clothesline, but Demolition soon take back in control with a with a cheap shot. And then we're back to this kind of arm bars and nerve holds um, pattern with Dynamite this time. A few flurries of offense here and there. Um, Dynamite finally hits a clothesline on Axe and then a big boot to smash. But then he's driven into the post and suplexed back into the ring. Now the note I wrote at this stage is this is a really long match. The pace is slow. There's these bursts of offense but it's really not doing it the crowd seems somewhat into it but um it's not aged well it's a very very long match and the pace is not really helping with this and they're continuing this idea of not tagging it's you know it's, it's a tag team match the rules are very clear and the referee's not enforcing them so you can't really suspend disbelief when they're just letting the wrestlers do whatever it is they want to do now dynamite is still in trouble you know 
um, demolition using bear hugs. They use a Boston ta uh, Boston crab, excuse me. And then David Boy finally tags in, and you think, here we go now, it's on. Crowd go absolutely wild for the hot tag to Davey, by the way. Hits a drop kick, body slams to both, hits a clothesline. Only a two count, though. And then, bizarrely, Dynamite gets back into the ring. Dyn um, Davey Boy's on the outside, fighting with Axe, I believe it is. And you hear a pinfall happen in the ring. One, two, three. And Demolition have won and retained their titles, but the camera completely missed it. So I can't even really describe what happened in the finish. And I didn't see a replay. Very, very disappointing stuff. Um, as for the unimportant rating for this one, I've gone with a 4 out of 10. It was a long, long match. It must have been 20, 25 minutes at least. And it didn't need to be. They could have been in and out in 10 or 15 at max. 10 or 15 at most. So this was a little bit disappointing. 4 out of 10. But um, two of the more well-known and established tag teams of the era. Two of the greatest teams of all time, you could arguably say. But for some reason, in this particular match, things just didn't click. I'm sure they had better matches on other shows. But for me, this one was a 4 out of 10. Mm -hmm.